Learning to read is an amazing process. But did you know that children aren't born with a reading network? Instead, one has to be built through practice where brain areas are trained to work together. This video shows how this happens. Language and reading mostly involve the left side of the brain, shown here. The area in the back highlighted in blue helps with seeing and imagining pictures and scenes. In red is a visual area specialized for shapes and objects, including letters and words. The area in orange processes word sounds, such as rhymes or phonics. It helps children learn to decode letters and words as they learn to read. The areas in green help understand what words and stories mean by combining them with pictures, imagination, and feelings. An area near the top of the brain in yellow helps pay attention to stories when listening or reading. This special part of the brain in the back, called the cerebellum, helps to learn new skills, including language and reading, like a turbocharger on a car. Brain areas on the surface are connected by bundles of nerve fibers, like wiring in a computer. These grow stronger and faster with practice, such as listening to stories and talking about them. The bundle in red connects language areas involved with sounds and meaning. The bundle in green connects areas involved with reading quickly and connecting words with feelings. The bundle in blue connects areas involved with seeing, imagination, and meaning. Now that we've seen how a child's brain is wired for reading, how can we help? Research using a technology called MRI shows how reading to children in the first five years when their brain is growing rapidly helps shape their reading network. One study found that children with more books at home and who were read to more often had stronger activity in brain areas supporting language, imagination, and meaning, shown in this brilliant blob. To build reading routines, pick books from the library, a bookstore, or ask your child's doctor for help. Try to read for 15 minutes every day. It's important to involve the child in stories, which is sometimes called dialogic reading. Another study found that children read to this way had stronger activity in brain areas involved with talking and understanding. Try asking questions and inviting your child to help you during the story, like turning pages and talking about what they see. Getting a child involved helps build their interest in reading. Children showing greater interest during stories have been shown to have stronger activity in their cerebellum, supporting learning. To build interest, let your child pick out books and help you tell the story. You'll both love it. Increased activity, or firing, in a child's brain also helps the wiring in their reading network grow stronger. A different kind of MRI study showed this. Children with stronger home reading routines had more developed connections between brain areas supporting language, imagination, and attention, and also better early reading skills. Finally, despite so many new technologies, MRI research suggests that for young children, simple books are best. Compared to animated stories, children read regular picture books had stronger, more balanced connections between areas supporting language, imagination, attention, and learning. All of this research shows what many parents, grandparents, and teachers already know. Sharing books builds brains. Pick up a favorite book, invite your child onto your lap, and build together today.